right, so let's do now latent heat exercise. Says we've the we've done sensible heat, which is essentially due to the change in temperature, and latent heat is essentially due to the change on phase, we're going from liquid to vapor, or vapor to liquid, solid to liquid, etc. In this exercise, we're going to be talking about water, and not only water, one kilogram of water. And they ask us what is the latent heat of or the enthalpy change, of course. So latent heat may be Q and enthalpy change will be enthalpy change. Eventually, of course, they are the same in this case. Required to evaporate, what does that mean? It means you're liquid, you're going to turn it into vapor. And they give you three different pressures. And you will see if the, let's say, the change in enthalpy actually varies on pressure. And let's check it out. One thing I wanted to show you is that by definition, the change of enthalpy of the saturated liquid and the saturated gas will give you the latent heat. So if you have, let's say, your change in enthalpy is, of course, final enthalpy minus initial enthalpy. And if we're talking about saturated state, it will be your final enthalpy, which is the vapor, because you want to get to the vapor, and the initial will be that of the saturated liquid. So hopefully you get an insight. And we're going to use, instead of calculating by hand, we're going to use tables. So first things first, 100 kilopascals, we find it here. 100, it's almost 100 Celsius. You get specific volume, but we are not interested in that. We're interested in a specific enthalpy. Why specific? Because we're using one kilogram. So you will need to subtract this and this number here, 2675 minus 417 that it's about 865 you're going to have 2258 the change on enthalpy and actually it's here guys don't think it's a coincidence actually this is a very common uh, column in which uh, scientists include in vapor tables because it's pretty interesting that we can't uh, let's say skip this step of sub subtracting we can actually directly look here and we will find this that says the evaporation HE which means of course the enthalpy change in evaporation which is literally what they're asking us for so instead of doing this uh, subtraction I'm going to just look for this column the important thing is that you know where do we got this column from I know this is experimental data on the saturated steam. This is the experimental data on the saturated liquid. And this here, guys, is literally just the subtraction of these two columns. So before advancing, just check out that we are asked for 280 kilopascal, which is here. And let's go and check out this column. And I intersect and I have 21 cent kilo joules per kilogram. And they asked me also 480, which will be this here. So just a review, we have this, we have 280, which is here, and we have 480. As you can see, we are, here is almost three times, and this one is almost five times. And if you compare these changes on enthalpies at different pressures, you're going to see that they are almost the same. They don't vary that much. They do vary, but not that much. So what I wanted to tell you guys is that just in some cases in which you have no specific uh, enthalpy data or vapor tables, etc., you may suppose constant this value. So I will actually memorize this one because it's water, very important, and 100 Celsius is, of course, very important. So I will memorize this one is not that far from that on 480 kilopascals and it will help you when you have no other data. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? 
it really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.